Hi, I'm Steve Caracas, founder of Youth in Europe, and I want to explain today a little bit about what a pilgrimage is. First of all, it's a physical journey that represents the spiritual journey and it has great significance in the life of a Christian. The goal of a pilgrimage is to grow closer to God, to make a physical effort to encounter Christ. And God rewards this effort with abundant graces. So how do you receive these graces? Well, first of all, you have to ask. And like I said, you have to make the effort. Let me tell you a little story about a man I know. Um, and, and you've probably heard stories like this as well about uh, some crazy young man who decides that he's going to propose in some crazy way to the love of his life. Well, this man went to Rome and he set up for three days an entire, an entire scheme of how he's going to propose to his wife. The hotel was involved, the restaurant was involved, the, um, the people that he met were involved in this scheme. So one day, three months later, he's with his girlfriend, they're flying to visit relatives and at the end of this visit, instead of flying home, he gets the tickets he gives her a passport, a boarding pass, and they're on their way to Rome. She's, she's baffled. So they go to Rome. They land there. First thing they do, get to the hotel. The front desk calls and says, um, I have a package for you. And in the package is a little clue. And this clue was to take them to a certain part in the city. So she had to figure this out. She goes to a part of the city with him, and they find another clue, and another place in the city, and another clue, and then a restaurant, and another clue. And then after resting in the afternoon, they they find the last clue, they go to St. Peter's Square. And there, there are two girls sitting, one playing guitar, the other one listening, in these two chairs. And he walks up to them and says, excuse me, could I borrow your guitar? So the young lady says, of course. And why don't you take our chairs as well? So they sit down and he sings his girlfriend a song that he had written. And he explains to her what he has always been looking for in a wife. And then he gets on his knees and he proposes and asks her to marry him. And thank God, she says yes. She says yes. So, some people think of this, they, they listen to this and they think, oh, that, that's, that's terrible. That's, there's so much money involved and so much time involved, especially of more mature people who uh, are more responsible with, with life and they've lived a little bit longer. Um, they think it's a waste of money. So what is the cost of a lifetime consecration? What is the cost when we're willing to give up everything for something greater? On this pilgrimage, you'll have the opportunity to give yourself to God, to give yourself completely to Him for, for three different reasons. To know Him, to love Him, and to serve Him. So first of all, to know Him. Ask God to reveal Himself to you. This is a prayer that God does not deny. Now, He may deny you other prayers. You may pray to win the, to win the lottery, and, and He may deny you because it's not good for your salvation. But to know Him, He will not deny you this prayer. You know Him so that you can love Him. Number two, you can't love someone that you don't know. So you get to know God better so that you can love Him more so that finally you can serve Him. So what are you going to experience on this pilgrimage? Everything on a pilgrimage is a heightened experience. Everything in life, the walking, the eating, the sleeping, the prayer, everything is, is amplified. So you'll have times for prayer, times of, of joy, times of difficulties, times of, uh, of growing together as a group, listening to God in the times of silence, uh, learning about yourself. So take that time of prayer. When you have a, a moment, and I know that World Youth Day can be very crazy. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of activities and, and venues and so forth. But there will be times when, you're, when you have silence in prayer, in mass, or you, you're visiting a shrine or something where you can take some silent time and talk to God. Uh, the difficulties. There will be difficulties. Pilgrimages always have difficulties, as does, does all travel, but World Youth Day is even more difficult, so you'll have a chance to suffer. Um, you'll have a great, great opportunity to eat the food that they give you, whatever that might be, um, to suffer through the heat of the day, um, or the cold of the night, or the crowds of people. Um, there are many things that, you, that you'll be able to suffer. And you can offer all this up as part of your, um, as part of your pilgrimage. It's a prayer. You offer it to God, you offer it to Jesus on the cross, and, and it becomes a prayer, it becomes valuable. Remember that a pilgrimage is a call from God, and your response to that call. If you don't respond, you'll be robbed of grace. If you don't respond, you'll come home tired, but not changed. No one can respond for you. This is your faith, you have to choose it. Remember that God is the only answer that makes sense to life's questions. So you should begin to prepare yourself now for this pilgrimage. Prepare by, by setting up a, a prayer routine. Go to confession on a regular basis. Make sacrifices and continue to make sacrifices during the pilgrimage. 
And when you go, leave everything possible behind. Your school, your work, most of your family and friends, um, your things, your electronics, just leave it all behind so that you can, you can open your heart. You, you get rid of the clutter on a pilgrimage so that God can fill you with His grace. In conclusion, live life to the fullest. Make this pilgrimage a turning point in your life by accepting the grace that God wants to give you.